Hi everyone, welcome back to the SOC interview questions. This is Saeem Negi from Infosec Trade. And here are some fresh SOC interview questions. The very first one is what would you do if faced with an enraged client? See here the purpose is this question basically it is aiming to evaluate the candidates interpersonal and customer service skills as well as their ability to handle difficult situations with clients. What the interview is determining over here is that you know he wants to assess the candidates emotional intelligence, composure under pressure and conflict resolution skills. So they are looking for candidates who can effectively manage client relationships, show empathy and turn negative situations into positive experience so your answer would be like you know if faced with an enraged client you know uh, i would remain calm and empathetic i understand the importance of providing outstanding customer service and i see such you know situation as opportunities to turn a negative experience into a positive one so for example in my you know you can give an example like in my previous role a client was upset due to delayed shipment so instead of becoming defensive i actively listened to their concerns and offered a sincere apology for the inconvenience i then assured them you know that i would personally oversee the issue and keep them updated until I, it was resolved so by providing you know personalized attention and addressing their concerns the client's anger is subsided and they appreciate the level of care and support they receive next question is what is a regular decision making strategy See here, once again, the purpose is this question seeks to understand the candidate's approach in order to make decisions, particularly in critical and time sensitive scenarios. So here interviewer is trying to determine, you know, to like evaluate the candidate's decision making process, including their ability, you know, to gather and analyze relevant information, considering the impact of time constraints and apply the domain knowledge in their coherent manner. So they want to identify candidates who can you know make informed decisions and prioritize actions effectively so here your answers could be like my regular decision making strategy involves gathering all relevant information and assessing the time constraints so for example in my previous position as a SOC analyst i had to make quick decisions during cyber incidents i would first prioritize the security incident based on its severity and potential impact so then i would quickly analyze the available data and evidence to understand the scope of the incident. So by using this information and this knowledge of different attack patterns and threat vectors, I could make informed decisions to make the, or to mitigate the threat effectively. So if the situation allowed, I would also consult the senior team members or refer to established incident response playbooks to ensure consistency and alignment with the organization's policies. Third question would be like, what would you do if you committed an error that no one else saw? So basically the purpose of this question is to assess the candidate's honesty, integrity and accountability when faced with making the mistakes. So here interviewer is trying to determine like you know looking for candidates who take responsibility of their actions and are willing to acknowledge their mistakes. So they want to see if the candidate can handle the pressure of owning up an error and taking corrective actions. So question helps you know to gauge the candidate's attitude towards continuous improvement and learning from mistakes. So your answers could be like, you know, in the event that make I make an error that goes unnoticed by others. So I believe in taking immediate responsibility for my actions. So you can tell like, you know, while analyzing network logs, I once misinterpreted a suspicious pattern leading to an incorrect assessment of a potential threat. So realizing my mistake, I promptly reported to the team lead and explained the oversight. I then worked with the team to rectify the error, revisiting the analysis and providing an accurate report. So by being honest and transparent about the mistake, I not only corrected the situation, but also demonstrated my commitment to maintaining a high standard of work and integrity within the SOC. So that would be it. So if you like the questions and want such more things to be uploaded, drop your comments below. Thank you.